my name is Robert Alley, and I um, got an, an account with with Green Dot, and I was trying something new, and pretty much it was a bad, it was a mistake, it was a bad move. They, their customer service is really bad, and they just their their whole process of of their whole customer service process in general is is bad. It, it needs to be completely revamped um, and, and before it's somebody else gets, I mean, you know, this is, like I said, this is tying up almost $6,000 of my money right now. And I'm trying to travel across country. My cars, you know, my car needs to be fixed. And it just, it, it's not, it's not something that that's business. It's not business. Like it's just not, not fair that I have to suffer like this because they are incompetent. I guess in the beginning it was okay, but I've had nothing but issues with them um, in the last, I don't know, say month or so. They they were supposed to pay my rent in January to my landlord, and they sent it to somebody. They never sent it to my landlord. So I ended up getting kicked out of my apartment because of it. Um, they And I've been trying. I've been waiting for a new ATM card for almost a month now so I can access their customer service. They won't let you access their customer service unless you have a registered ATM card. So I've been waiting for that card to come in, which it hasn't come in because they still have the, they, they owe me the $1,500 refund that they, that they paid somebody my rent in January. So that's locked up in this account that I can't get to. And just this past week or so, they rejected my both of my disability checks from the military and from the state and sent them back and didn't tell me. So I I'm I still don't have my money for, for the month of February from, from my disability um, situation from the military and stuff because it's been so caught up in limbo being with what happened with this bank and I've been trying to email them. I've been trying to get a hold of them. I mean, I've been trying everything I can possibly do and I just can't get through to a real person. They owe me $1,500 right now. They, they, they still have my, my refund from January that they paid somebody else instead of my landlord, which got me kicked out of my apartment. So it, it's, so I'm trying to get that money is, is, is still sitting in the account that they suspended without my knowledge because it's sent back when, when the, the um, treasury tried to deposit my disability check from the military in it, they kicked it back and didn't tell me about this. So I didn't know until the other day I was calling around trying to find all this money. And they were like, you know, we're like, yeah, well, we, it got sent back. So I was like, okay, well, it would have been, you know, nobody, nobody let me, let me know. So I didn't know anything about it. So now I'm waiting for these checks to get rerouted to my dad's house. And I'm, I'm living, you know, living with no money because they, because they screwed this whole thing up. I mean, they had about probably about $6,000 jammed up in, in, in their system because of the, the 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 incompetence and you can't talk to a person it's ridiculous that you can't talk to somebody unless you have an active atm card they won't even they you can't even get through to customer service on their on their phone call as soon as you can't put in a, a, a number with an AT, an atm card number or something they hang up on you the, the computer won't even put you through to a to a, a real person you know, and these guys are supposed to be running a business. I mean, and you know, when you finally do talk to them, they're 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 rude, and they don't they, they don't know what's going on half the time. You know, it, it's it, it's like, and it's not the first time I've had a problem with them. I've had had a problem with them in the in the past about stuff like this too. About you know, somebody somebody getting into my account and and them giving me a hard time that I gave somebody my ATM card and let them go buy things. And now I'm trying to get money back. I was like, I'm trying to rob them. I'm like, you guys are out of your mind. Like, I don't even know what half this stuff is. And you're saying that, that I did it. I mean, it just doesn't make any sense. I want my money back that, they're, that, that they have right now. They're, they're right now I'm missing $1,500, which was my, my, my rent payment and a security deposit payment from January. 
So that I, I want that back. I would love if they would compensate me for all this craziness that's been going on, but I know that's not going to happen. So if I can at least get the money back that they owe me, I'll be happy with that. Cause I'm just going to close the account after that. Anyways, I'm not dealing with them anymore. I'm going to get a real bank that I can go in. You know, if I have a problem, I can walk in the door. I can sit down and talk to somebody. My dad's going to help me. I mean, I admit I'm not the greatest when it comes to banking. I'm not, but these people are supposed to be here to help you with this stuff. And they don't at all. Once they shut your, your ATM card off and they like, like if you're doing a dispute, so what they do is they shut the card off. They send you a new one. Once that card is shut off, it's useless. You can't even use the numbers to get into customer service because the card is by their records. It's not valid. So it's not going to get you into customer service. I've been passing emails with who I don't know, and it takes some days to get back to you. You write somebody an email, but and and they don't have an actual like system set up. They got phone numbers and they got this and that, but you can't talk to anybody. I mean, how are you going to have all these phone numbers and all this stuff going on? And their mailing address thing is a PO box in Pasadena, California. So it's not like you can even mail them a letter, and you know it, it's. So I've been using a um, an email address that I found on one of their contact us type things that I've been emailing on a daily basis. And it it's like they got back to me once and said they tried to call. So I wrote them back and, you know, hey, can you call? I haven't heard back. That was a few days ago. Then there was another one that they got back to me and said, well, if you get on it would can you call and get into touch with customer service and do this and start all this and i'm like i just got done with an email telling you that i don't have an atm card i can't talk to customer service so how are you going to tell me to do what i just told you i can't do in an email and this is this was a few days ago i, I mean i'm waiting days to even hear to hear back from 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 you know what's going on and it's like the money, I mean, people might not think that 1500 bucks is a lot of money, but to me it is. You know, it, it's a lot of money and they, they they screwed me out of the money and out of an apartment. I mean, half, most of this wouldn't even have happened if they would have paid my landlord to begin with, the right paid the right person because I used their online bill pay. And I set it all up and my landlord never got the rent in January. So it took me forever to even get a hold of them to let, to, to, to get that in in order and i still haven't gotten gotten the money so i i i had to i had to leave the the apartment in connecticut now i'm in indiana right now at my dad's and i'm waiting to meet up with my girlfriend and we're moving to california you know and and, and i need the, the travel money i got things wrong with my car that need to be fixed it's like you know this money's important and they they got you know and, and they've tied up the rest of my money by kicking you know everything back and 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 me having to, to chase it down. So, so I'm, you know, what it's almost the second week already of February and I'm broke still. I got nothing because of, because of the, the this, this mix up. They need to make their customer service more accessible, first of all. Um, and I don't, and it doesn't matter if they're, they're a, approach to talking to somebody is different like i understand the security issue so they need to come up with a different type of identifying who they're talking to you know if you if you lose your atm card you just lost your whole bank account once you lose your atm card and you can't contact customer service you've lost every single dime that you have in that account because you can't access it and that's what 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 has happened so they need to come up with with, with a, a system where they can identify their customers, and but not completely lock them out of their account. 